This jalapeno cheddar bread has a fine crispy crust and super soft and moist open crumb and it is deliciously filled with creamy cheddar cheese and pickled jalapenos. In this video, I will show you how to make it in such a way that you can achieve that beautiful open crumb and you can enjoy one of the most tastiest breads. Another thing that you will love about this recipe is that you don't need to do any hard kneading and you don't need to wait for overnight proofing to make this bread. So let's start by preparing the dough. Into this bowl, I'm adding some cold water. Unlike other bread recipes, we use cold water here because we need to slow down and control the action of yeast. Into this, I'm adding 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of yeast and stir until they dissolve in water. And now add in the flour and combine them all together to form a shaggy mass of dough. Now to make sure our dough has no dry spots or any lumps, using my palm I'm trying to make it into a smooth and homogeneous dough. Our dough is now ready for proofing, so cover it with a cling film or with a damp cloth so that it will not get dry and leave it for 20 minutes at room temperature. It's been 20 minutes and now we need to develop the gluten in our dough. As this is a high hydration wet dough, it is difficult for us to knead the dough. And so let's develop the gluten by giving two rounds of brief stretching folds in every 20 minutes. Our dough is very sticky to handle, but when our hands are wet, it will not stick to our hands. So make sure our hands are wet before handling the dough. Now pull and stretch the dough from one side and then fold it onto itself. And then turn the bowl 90 degree and repeat the same stretch and folds on all four sides. Cover it again and let it sit for another 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes and let's do one more stretch in folds. So we completed two rounds of stretching folds and now to get a more smooth and taut surface using my hands I'm tucking in the edges towards the center and underneath by dragging the dough through the sides of the bowl. See we got a smoother surface and a round dough. So cover it and leave it for another 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, let's take our dough onto a clean worked surface. As this is a sticky dough, before taking it into the work surface, spray the surface with some water so that it will not stick to it and we can handle the dough smoothly. And now stretch the dough to form a big rectangular sheet. Let's sprinkle the top with some cheese. Here I've used cheddar cheese. Now 
and then I'm using some diced jalapenos. And now fold the top and bottom one third and then from both sides and now let's place this laminated dough onto a greased rectangular pan Now cover it with a cling film and let it sit for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes and it's time for a final shaping. At this point to prevent the dough from sticking we are not using water but flour. I'm dusting the top of our dough with some flour and again the work surface with some flour. Gently fold the dough and then roll it to form a 10 sieve dough. And for the final rising, I'm placing it in a proofing basket with a smooth side facing down. And to help it to change shape and to create more tension, stitch the seam. Our dough is now ready for the final pricing. So cover it with a kitchen towel and place it in the refrigerator for one hour. Proofing the dough in a cold environment retards the action of yeast and helps to create a beautiful crumb texture. So after a one hour of proofing, our dough has risen well and it is ready for baking. Flip the dough onto a parchment paper. I've already preheated my baking vessel, so transferring the dough onto the hot baking dish. We can use a Dutch oven or any oven safe dish with a lid. And now before taking it into the oven, Using a sharp blade, score the top of the bread dough and now it is ready to go into the oven. So cover it with the lid and bake it at 480 Fahrenheit or 250 C for 30 minutes and then reduce the temperature to 220 C or 425 Fahrenheit and bake it open for another 8 to 10 minutes. This last 10 minutes of open baking at a lower temperature will help us to achieve that crispy crunchy crust to our bread. And after baking we'll get that bread with amazing smell. It has a crispy crust and it is light and airy and now we need to wait for at least 20 minutes for the bread to cool down and this cooling down is still the part of cooking process as the steam which has entrapped within the bread will help to cook the bread completely. Now our bread has cooled down but it is still slightly warm. You can see our bread has amazing open crumb 
and it is a super light and airy and at the same time marbled with that creamy deliciousness of cheddar cheese and this bread is one of the most favorite breads in our family and i hope you will also enjoy this as much as we do and hope you like this recipe hope you will make this at home and i'm pretty sure everybody will love it and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love homemade bread and thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video see you next time